Your dad has wondered about all kinds of things, from the medication that your mom was on during her pregnancy, to the fact that you were exposed to violent arguments in the home from an early age and continuing, to the possibility that he might have passed on some genetic propensity for obsession or violent behavior. Does any of that ring true to you? I can see why he'd wonder about those things, but uh, as far as I'm concerned, they're all excuses because I didn't feel accountable to anybody. I didn't feel that I had to, to uh, face what I had done ever. And uh, so you, you have, there comes a point where a person has to, has to be accountable for what he's done. Can't go, can't go around making excuses, uh, blaming other people or other things. So I, I alone am the one who's responsible for what's happened. Let me ask, when did you first feel that, that everyone is accountable for their actions? Well, thanks to you for, for sending uh, that uh, creation science uh, material. Because I always, I always believe the, uh, the lie that uh, evolution is truth, the theory of evolution is truth, that we all just came from uh, the slime and uh, when, we, when we died, you know, that was it. There was nothing. So it, the whole theory cheapens life and uh, started reading books about how, that show how evolution is, is just a complete lie. There's, there's, no, there's no basis in science to, uh, to uphold it. And I've come to, since come to believe that uh, that the Lord Jesus Christ is the true creator of uh, the heavens and the earth. It just didn't just happen. And uh, I have accepted him as my Lord and Savior. And I believe that I, as, long, as well as everyone else, will be accountable to him. At that period of time, I had drifted away from a belief in a supreme being. And I never, as a result, passed along the feeling that we are all accountable in the end. He owns us. And that basic concept is very fundamental to all of us. You feel that the absence, at least for a while, of a strong religious faith and yes. belief for some years may have prevented you from instilling some of that in Jeff. That's right. Is that how you feel? Yes, I think I had a big, uh, big part to do, to do with it. I mean, uh, if you don't, if a person doesn't think that there there is a God to be accountable to, then then what's what's the point of of trying to uh, modify your behavior to keep it within acceptable ranges? Uh, that's how I thought anyway, and uh, I've since come to believe that uh, the Lord Jesus Christ is truly God, uh, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. They're the only true God. I started reading pornography, going to the bookstores. Um, eventually that led to uh, frequenting the gay bars. And then I, one time I brought this uh, young man back to the hotel room, the Ambassador Hotel. I uh, was just planning on drugging him and uh, spending the night with him. I had no intention of hurting him. When I woke up in the morning, he uh, had a broken rib here. I was heavily bruised. Apparently, I had uh, beaten him to death with my fists. And you have no memory I of it? I have no memory of it. But that's what started the whole spree all over again. 